Blessings, everyone. Today I would like to offer, this is the Fortune Cookie Oracle, a quick message for the collective. I have been seeing very powerful 333 today, which I know is the Ascended Masters. And I had, they were pulling me to do a Ascended Masters Oracle reading, but there's been so many messages coming through um, that I kind of just wanted to, uh, I think I would make an extended video to do that on YouTube um, because it's more of a specific reading. And this one is for the collective. So um, I'm just going to keep this one more of a general reading, but I will be doing one for the Ascended Masters and uploading that later. First, I would like to say thank you to Source for allowing me to be the median of light. And I ask Spirit to step forward and help bring a message for the collective for the highest good. Thank you. I'm grateful. And as always, I just kind of move it around and whatever comes out or pops up, Spirit will say, take that one. Or sometimes they fall out and um, that's the one that they'll direct me to. Uh, or sometimes it just, whoops, okay, so. Challenges. Take time out from problems or conflicts to approach softly to avoid making matters worse. And so the first thing that I'm hearing, Spirit is stepping forward. And they're saying that sometimes we have to practice learning when to step away from something because we're so asphyxiated on fixing it or having some answers. And we need to become comfortable being in that place of letting go without the answers or not knowing. That sometimes the answer is actually the decision that we make to say we've had enough of something. Spirit is using the the images of a conflict. They're showing me people in a conflict. I see a courtroom and they're saying that it's a hung trial, a hung decision. And sometimes we have to be comfortable also hearing the answer of nothing. We put something out there and we're not getting a response. It's quiet. And right away, our monkey mind wants to fill in the blank. What if, oh, they? I didn't hear anything back. It must be this, it must be that. The mind doesn't like that. The mind, the mental worlds like to fill in the blank. And spirit is saying with the challenges, we have to learn to step away from that. That silence is just a silence. We don't have to have an answer. So with the challenges that arise right now, we're being encouraged to accept what is and work through what is in the moment and not need the answers straight away and be comfortable walking away from a challenge or a conflict without seeing it come full circle because sometimes it really isn't the answer and we know that they say we have to enjoy the journey not just the end result and that also stands very true spirit is saying for those moments that we have challenges, whether it's a, a family dynamic we're having a challenge with or a relationship challenge or even a personal challenge, that sometimes we don't even have our own answers. We may be feeling a certain way, we're out of sorts and we're not sure what causes it. And Spirit says sometimes it's not about that. What we're being taught when we're going through these challenges sometimes is to accept the difficulty in those moments. And it really is about staying present. Challenges teach us to stay present as well. It's not asking us to draw on any past experiences to direct it or all the what ifs that could come of it, but stay right in the moment in the challenge. See it for what it is and understand what's happening. Sometimes we don't know where something comes from. Sometimes we, we, we have challenges um, in, with interactions with, with each other and we're like, wow, I don't know why this person's so angry at me. 
And sometimes we won't know. We won't get that answer. We won't have the, the, the disclosure or it won't come full circle where we have all the reasons why something went a certain way. We have to learn to let go. Spirit is encouraging us. Be the decision maker in this. If we're having a conflict with someone and there's no resolution, step away. Let it go. The resolution of unresolution is the answer. We have to trust our experience in the moment. And they're showing me this courtroom again and they're saying that sometimes we won't have the answer of why someone committed a crime. They may be persecuted for it, but we're never going to get that closure of knowing why. What would make someone do something like that? Sometimes the person doesn't even know themselves. It's many different dynamics that create a situation and it can't be defined. And we have to be okay with that. This has been happening, Spirit saying, a lot for a lot of people. They want to know why, why, why. And we have to release that. And we have to be clear in the moment and say it's not about why. It is what it is right now. And we have to deal with what we know in the moment. And we also have to be comfortable with making decisions of letting go and walking away from something. Because we may never get the closure. We are the closure. Just like we are the co-creators, we are the manifestors. We are the answers. We don't have to give it a name. We don't have to give it a circumstance. We don't have to give it a reason. We have to make peace with the challenges and not knowing sometimes why or how or all the what ifs. The most profound healing sometimes is the surrender and acceptance of a situation for what it is, even if it feels negative, even if it feels difficult. Getting through the other side of it is more important and making peace with that than why something occurs. And so they're pulling their energy back. I hope this message finds you well and inspires you. Whatever challenges or disharmony is going on right now in all of our lives, that we have the complete power, the responsibility, and the expanded awareness to make the decisions and move away from that. Much love and many blessings, everyone.